What's good, y'all? It's your girl. I am Mono, and I'm on your screen, on your page, on your timeline, on your TV, on your cell phone. What's up? Um, today I'm finna give y'all story time about how they tried to play the baddest. Now I'm finna give y'all another story time about a hall monitor at one of my old schools. Um. Yeah, them hall monitors, they be thinking that they, like, top flight security or something. And I never played that with them. Like, don't play with me. So, we finna get into it. So, the school I used to go to, whatever, they had this rule where, like, you can't go to the bathroom during passing periods. And I don't know why they had that dumb rule. I don't know if it's because, like, people would try to, like, skip in the bathroom First of all, I'm too old for that. I'm not going to skip in the bathroom, so I don't care what rule y'all got for whatever. That don't apply to me, because if I said that I'm going to the bathroom, I'm going to the bathroom. If I got to go to the bathroom on lockdown, I'm going to the bathroom, because I said I got to go to the bathroom. No, I'm just playing. I'm not going to go to the bathroom on lockdown. That's kind of goofy. <laughs> no, no, but y'all can't tell nobody when to go to the bathroom. Like, if I said I had to use the bathroom, I'm going to the bathroom. Like, y'all tripping. And then for a person who don't even really go to the bathroom, like, y'all not finna tell me that I'm not going to the bathroom. So, um, uh, during passing period, I had came to my class. This was my English class at the time. I'm goaded at English. Oh, I always loved all my English teachers. So this English teacher, she was so cool. I loved her. So I had came in the classroom, whatever, dropped my stuff off, and I was like, you know, is it okay if I go to the bathroom? Like, And she was like, yeah, cool, go ahead. So imagine we had a bathroom that was on our hallway, but every time I try to go to the bathroom, since it's like right there by the classes, everybody and they homie be in the bathroom. Like, oh my God, y'all gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom somewhere else. So it got to the point I wouldn't even try to go to that bathroom no more. Cause every time I try to go to the bathroom, everybody in there, I'm talking about all five of the stalls taken up, everybody at the sink, five people in the mirror. I'm like, oh my God. So I ain't even try that no more. Like y'all got it. Y'all got to have the bathroom. Put y'all name on the stars, like, Lord. So, so, yeah. So, instead of doing all of that, I went to the bathroom, like, to the next hall, like, directly from ours or whatever. So, I walked to the bathroom or whatever, and I get to the bathroom, and um, it's, this, it's a girl who was trying to go to the bathroom, but the hall monitor lady had told her that she couldn't go, so she went back to class. Ain't nobody telling me I can't do nothing, first of all. Who? So, I'm like, I, I peeped that. I'm like, all right. Because I already know she's going to say that to me. So, I'm just prepared to keep walking because what she going to do, block the bathroom? Like, I'm going to just go to a new bathroom. And it's like, it's not even to get up like difficulties or none of that. And I understand that people think that they just doing their job. But if you let me go to the bathroom, you're not going to get fired. Like, so, I walk up to the bathroom. She's like... Oh, no one can go to the bathroom. No, 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 no. She told me, she said, go get a pass. And I was like, why Why would I come to the bathroom to go all the way back to class to bring a pass to you so you could say I could go to the bathroom? Would I look like a flunky? I'm not doing that. So I ain't said that to her, but I just ain't even, no, I ain't even say nothing to her. I just kept walking or whatever. She was like, you can't go to the bathroom. You can't go to the bathroom. Imagine the reason, and I told, when she, the thing that I did say to her, I was like, it's an emergency. Mind you, I was trying to hurry up and go to the bathroom because I was trying to change my pad or whatever because I'm like, dang, I don't want my stuff to leak through. Like, let me go to the bathroom, which is really none of your business. Like, if I say I gotta go to the bathroom, I gotta go to the bathroom. So I get to the bathroom, and she was like, I'm in there in the bathroom or whatever, and then I, I think I um, heard her say on the walkie. She said something. I don't really know. But I, I wasn't even in the bathroom for five minutes. I wasn't even in the bathroom for three minutes. Like, I literally was in and out or whatever. And when I walked out the bathroom, she was like, what's your name? And I told her my name because at the end of the day, I did it. I said I did it a hundred times. So what? So she was like, what's your name? And I had told her my name. And then it's like she was fake trying to be mean with me because I don't know if she thought because I was going to go to the bathroom anyway that I was trying to go against her when it's not even about you. It's just the simple fact that I had to go to the bathroom. You could have been James Brown. I would have still acted the same way. Like, it's not about you. So she fake tried to like act kind of tough on me in a sense as if I cared because I don't care. Like I went to the bathroom. I'm out the bathroom. I'm over that. That was five minutes ago. I'm cool now. Like I went to the bathroom. So she's trying to fake like she like, what's your name? I tell her my name. 
she like oh, okay she fake like she putting it in her phone mind you my name is spelled a certain way my name is like unique so you're not gonna know who i am unless you know who i am for real if you look me up in the system it's not gonna pop up so i'm like all right mind you as she's talking to me i'm still walking so she like oh okay well you know doubling back this is why i always stay true to yourself because you're gonna have them bowing down to you so she like Oh, okay, well, you know, it's not a problem with you going to the bathroom if you said it's an emergency, but just do me a favor. Like, if you if it's an emergency, that's okay, but if it's not an emergency, just go to class. And I was like, okay. Because what you trying to say by saying it? I said, hold up. Wait a minute. I said it's an emergency. And you could have just said that the first time. Like, okay, that's fine. Like, I don't like people like that because it's like, at the end of the day, you really try to fake tell me I couldn't go to the bathroom. Whole time, you really just said that I could go to the bathroom after I already went. And I don't like how y'all be trying to press people. Then at the end of the day, it do be people smoking in the bathroom. So I guess, like, that's why they don't be wanting people in the bathroom like that, too. But this bathroom don't even have no door. It's like you could straight walk in there all the day. So really, if she wanted to stand by the door to make sure that I'm in the stall, she could have, like just bugging over doing it so that's that story time i wasn't tripping off her though i just ignore her because i'm like girl who is you i don't even know you like watch out the way over the bathroom though over dookie booty <laughs> like what so yeah this video short i'm about to throw in another story so we had this one whole monitor lady that nobody like including me she used to blow me like overdo it mind you if i was really like the old me i would have spazzed out on her a long time ago but she never really caught me when i was on my like so i really just whatever so she the type like that used to just go out her way just to be annoying like that's that and she know she really I knew we did not like her like it's plenty of times she say something to us we purposely walk past and say like stuff out loud about her in her face and she just took like fun and messing with the students and i really didn't like that and i should have wrote to corporate about you and towards the end of the school year she was trying to be nice to me but whatever she lucky seemed like she could be cool but you're not cool you annoying so like like she would do stuff like we'd be in the hallway and she'd be like oh go to class go to class what are you guys doing like just be irritating like just be irritating but it'll be other stuff she'll do too but i can't think off the top of my head so this particular day, I had went to the bathroom or whatever. Mind you, they got a rule where you can't go to the bathroom during six period because it's like lunch period. And I guess people be going to other people's lunches, which is like, why do y'all care if other people go to people's lunch? Like class be boring and it don't be doing nothing in there. And y'all need to be happy that we even in the building. Like mind your business. And I know that's not valid, but I don't care because y'all be pressing the issue too hard. And then on top of that, some people really going to have to go to the bathroom. So when, how y'all going to tell somebody when they can go to the bathroom? So I had a sixth period teacher who was like real cool. That's my girl. I love her. I love her. I used to love her class. And she was so transparent with us. That's my girl. If I keep talking about it, I might get to reminiscing and sad. So we just gonna stop talking about it. But yeah. She she had let me go to the bathroom or whatever. Mind you, like she was the type of teacher, like she'll even walk us to the bathroom, like all types of stuff. Like she was like, My kids gotta go to the bathroom, like they can go to the bathroom. Because how you going to tell somebody they can't go to the bathroom? So I was, mind you, I really went to the bathroom because it was an emergency. So I was in a class or whatever, and my contact fell out my eye. So I asked my teacher, like, can I go to the bathroom and put my contact back in? Because it just fell out my eye. Like, I need to see to put it back in. But I didn't even have to explain all of that to her because she was just cool. And I was her favorite. And she loved me. And she used to always feed us and stuff. Like, we used to have pizza parties. She used to bring us snacks. Like, even though, like, she was, like, really, like, the mom to us. But she didn't want us eating her class and stuff. We couldn't eat. She didn't want us on our phones. Like, we were, like, sneaking on our phones. It's like, we done our work. Like, dang, mom. <laughs> we done our work. But we used to, like, sneak and eat and everything, too. That class was just fun. Like, we used to kick it in that class. I missed that class. If I could, if I could have to take one more class again, like, because I had to, it will be her class. It was cool to me. Even though her class wasn't a core class or a class you needed to pass, she used to be giving work like we need to pass. That's one thing I did not like. <laughs> yeah, so I had went to the bathroom because my contact fell out or whatever. And when I got to the bathroom or whatever, it was like some other people in there. 
I don't know this. I think they was like fake talking and lady gagging, but that don't have nothing to do with it. Like, that's them. Remember, we at school with kids, so that's them. So I'm in the mirror or whatever, putting my contact in, and like she had like walked towards the bathroom, so they had to start leaving or whatever, because they was in their lady gagging anyway. They probably weren't even supposed to be in there for real. So she seen me, and she was like, okay, um, you need to go to class. And I was like, all right. When I get finished, I'll go. Because clearly I'm doing something. Like, I'm not standing here staring at myself in the mirror. Like, all right. So then she was like, because um, I think she said it from the door. Like, she had said it, said it standing by the doorway. So then she walked in, and she stood right beside me in the mirror. This is harassment. First of all, no staff should even be able to be in the bathroom with the students. And that's why I should have did a report on you because you knew that was wrong. First of all, I should have told them that I felt violated and I felt uncomfortable because I was in the bathroom and the staff came and stood beside me in the mirror looking at me really weird that's what i should have told them that's what i should have said to them so she stands directly beside me in the mirror and she was like um okay you need to be going mad you like you know how some people just be annoying like i didn't even and that's like that's really too far like i should have snapped on her but i was just like and i just finished putting my contact in and then i left because some people it really be better off unsaid because then i'm gonna get on my character i'm gonna get on my baddie then you're going to go to the people, make it seem like I'm an aggressor, and then you're going to fake try to act like you were so intimidated. And then it's going to be another thing. So really probably good thing I didn't say nothing to her because some people really play dirty. And she already was purposely annoying when she knew she was annoying, so you never know. So she blew me. She just got on my nerves. And then after that, I just ain't had no words for her. Plus, everybody I knew already ain't like her. And I used to be like, I used to be like, no, she probably ain't that bad, da, da, da. But now it's like, nah. You irritated. It's Cause that was irritating, like so um then she'll see me in the hallway. Imagine you, anytime you see me in the hallway, I'm one of those people that's gonna get there and get gone. Like that's me. So I'm not lagging in the hallway. I'm not talking and singing and playing. No. If I'm in especially if I'm about, if I'm with my friends, I probably overdo it, be a little loud, hug my friend, act like I never seen her in years, even though I just seen her first period. But if I'm in the hallway by myself, I'm not going to be like, you know, like I begin to the point. And if somebody talking to the mic, said don't walk with me. So I would be in the hallway and she'd be like, where are you going? And I would just ignore her. Or sometimes she'd ask me and I'd say it, but I'd keep walking because I'm like, why? So you can come follow me and watch me and stalk me by where I said I'm going? But yeah, y'all, that's the end of this video. <laughs> that's the end of this video. I hope y'all like the content. And we about this thing. Don't play with that girl. Because I'm always 10 steps ahead. On your head, on his head, on the head. I'm just playing. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on the gram. And show your girl some love. And let me know how y'all like the content. I'll be trying to get y'all the content. Let me know how y'all like it. And let me know what y'all want to see next. Um, I had somebody DM me asking for a vlog. That's on the way. That's on the way. Even though my last vlog was not really a good vlog to me. But I'm still getting used to like getting back on my on my groove. Like, you know, going with the flow still. Because my old little content was low-key kind of good. That what I posted, I was forgetting to tell y'all stuff. I didn't record a lot. It was just clips was real long. But yeah, probably a girl.